Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Sun and Moon FNAF Security Breach action figure action figure by Funko. Um, so I went to the uh, the mall today. I didn't expect to find anything that good. Um, but the best thing, but these were the best things I found. I found these at a books a million of all places. There was um, two suns left and one moon and one moon left. So I uh, so I grabbed both of them. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna be reviewing them today. Um, I don't really know what else to say right now. So let's take a look at the, uh, the packaging. Um, it has the, uh, the same, pretty much the same exact packaging as the, um, other security projection figures that are really not as good. Like, I mean, really, really not as good. They're terrible, pretty much. <laughs> uh, it says sun on the, uh, the little label right here, of course. Um, turn it around. Oh, look at that! He's actually part of the, um, the security breach wave. Look, we got Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Chica, or sorry, uh, we got Funtime Freddy, uh, Classic Chica, um, Toy Foxy, uh, Gator Funtime Freddy, uh, a weird looking rabbit, and then we got these two, just amazing, beautiful fellas. Like, these, they just look so cool, like, honestly. Um, these were released, and, uh, yeah, it's 2023 right there, so, um, yeah, I guess they were originally started production in 2023, I guess if that means. I don't know. Um, these were $15 each, guys. They were not cheap. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, if you wanna, if you want me to compare the, uh, the box art to, um, another, uh, security breach action figure box. I only have one security breach action figure that's boxed, and it's uh, a Glamrock Freddy action figure signed by Kellen Goff. Um, they they look pretty much the same. It's hard to see it through at, um, through this plastic. But I want to take take the uh, the plastic off. Uh, the Sun and Moon figures are not displayed on the back of here because um, they weren't out yet at the time this figure got released. So, um, yeah, pretty much the same box art, except now they're considered part of this pretty much trash wave, except this one. I like, I like this one, it's signed by Killing Goth. Okay, let's start with, um, Sun. Uh, I won't be unboxing these guys on camera because, um, it'll be hard to do it on camera. Okay, so we got the, uh, the figure out of the, uh, the box, and yes, he is standing on a Garfield box because Garfield is cool, you can't deny, and... Wow, this figure is really, really cool. It really makes up for the, uh, the bad security breach action figure wave we got in 2020. Let's set up. Um, so yeah, let's, 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 go, let's go from, uh, from head to toe pointing out all, like, the really cool details. The, um, so first, the face is absolutely perfect. I... I don't see any problems with the face, like, genuinely. Uh, it looks so, so cool. Like, every time I try to draw Sun, I always mess up on, like, the mouth and the cheeks, and... And it just, he just gets really derpy, and the eyes are too far apart, and... But they captured his face really, really well. I don't know how hard that was. Um, maybe I'm just terrible at drawing Moon's face. I don't know. But, um, yeah, they did that got the uh the three little holes right here and then if you guys didn't know he actually does have a crack on the moon side of his face uh so it's, it's right there i don't know if you can see it but there it is and they didn't skip out on that detail which is amazing um the spikes look pretty cool um they would have looked cool if it was just painted uh yellow honestly for borns one of them but they actually like made the uh the spikes or the sun rays i guess start orange but then like slowly start to fade up to like more yellow color that's absolutely this is absolutely amazing to me and then see the back of his head they really went all out with the figure they did like the circuitry pattern behind him which looks really really detailed and really nice um uh he's got his little neck and and the uh the ball joint goes right here and then it continues down to the uh, circuit board pattern, I guess. Uh, you can... I didn't try it out, can you... You can move his head up and down pretty... Pretty easily. 
This is hard to do with one hand and on carpet, so whatever. Um, uh, yeah, so that, so, um, like, seriously, ev like, I'm, I can't even, like, put into words how cool this figure is. The body looks absolutely incredible, it looks kind of feminine too, to be honest. <laughs> uh, the arms look pretty nice in the, in the finger. They actually took the time to make the fingers in different poses too, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, this finger is a lot closer to the thumb than this finger is, or like the uh, pointer finger. Uh, then he's got the hook on the back, which is, uh, detail I barely even knew Sun had, and they, and they made that look really cool. Well, I don't think they could have messed it up that bad, but, but it's there. It looks nice. It's nice detail. I, and I'm, uh, surprised they put it there. Uh, he's, uh, his arms are, uh, are gray on the, uh, on the ends, and he's got the little jingle bells, too. Um, I feel like his fingers could be a little longer, but... That's literally the only nitpick I have with this figure and the legs. Been talking about this figure too much, so I'll just make this I'll just finish up quickly. Um the legs look pretty nice. Um yeah, no real problems with the legs. Uh then the and then the feet. Uh a star right there and a star right there. Oh yeah, there's the moon. In there. That looks nice. Um and the uh, it's got the padding underneath the foot, which looks pretty cool. And jingle bells. And honestly, I'm not even kidding. Like, I give this figure a easy, like, 10 out of 10. It's so, so cool. Like, I don't think there's any better Funko figure than this. Well, besides the moon, but I think I like Sun better than moon. It's like a character. But here's, but here's the thing. Um, these figures are so accurate, if you wanted to choose your favorite one, you'd probably end up choosing your, uh, your favorite character in the game. Like, your favorite one of those two in the game, because they're just so accurate. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me, and that's all that matters. Haha. <laughs> now we got Moon out of his box, and, you know what, maybe Moon might, might be my favorite, actually. Like, I think I like Sun as a character more, so, but I think the Moon figure looks better. Uh, I don't know. I said I, I said that uh, these figures look so good, you'd end up choosing your favorite character as your favorite figure. But never mind. That doesn't apply to me because I'm I'm the coolest kid in the world because I was like the first 100 people to get this. Uh. Uh. Yeah. The sculpt is not really that different from the uh, Sun action figure, which I can respect. I can respect a lot. Uh, the only thing that's gone is the, uh, sun rays have been replaced by his hat, which looks pretty cool. So, I'm not really going to say much about the sculpt, probably. Um, but they got the color, like, down completely well, all the way down to the, from the feet to the pants. It's a starry pattern, and the arms, which, the arms look, look even better than, uh, suns, because, um, because they could have just made this part white, and this part, uh, blue and i wouldn't even bat an eye but they actually took the time like sun's rays they actually took the time to um make it half half white half blue then make it like fade in the center right there like i cannot respect funko more for that that looks amazing like genuinely okay stand up you goofball uh and then the uh, little tutu whatever it is looks pretty cool um i didn't mention this about sun but I'm pretty sure the, uh, this is the same for both of them. Uh, the articulation is very, very good. Um, when I took Sun out of his, uh, his package, uh, his leg fell off. And when I took Moon out of his packaging, the, uh, the arm fell off. And, um, they were super hard to get back in, but, but, um, I managed to do it. Um, so that just goes to show how much Funko's improving the joints, like how much they're getting stiffer and stiffer with each wave, it feels like. And, um... Yeah, turn him around, he's got the same sculpt detail that on, on the sun, you know, the hook and the, um, circuitry pattern is partially colored by his hat. Uh, you can still see it, but, um, yeah, honestly, I, I'm in love with these figures so much. They look amazing. 
I'm not even kidding. So, uh, Moon, 10 out of 10, and Sun, 10 out of 10 as well. Like, honestly, so cool. That's a good thumbnail right there. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoy, please be sure to, um, like and subscribe for more FNAF merch reviews like this. I have a ton more coming in the summer because I have bought a bunch of, uh, FNAF, uh, stuff, merch that, um, like some new circus merch and stuff that, uh, I haven't, I've had for a little bit and I have just haven't reviewed yet, so... Yeah, it'll probably come soon. Um, then some more, uh, coming in, uh, in, like, late August or, like, September. So, um, yeah, that'll be, that'll be pretty cool because, because August 18th is my birthday, so I'm gonna get a lot of new FNAF merch there then, and, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching, subscribe, like, I already said that. Uh, I feel like I are, I always say, I already said that in my videos. After I say, like, subscribe a second time. If I say, like, subscribe two times my video. Whatever, guys, uh, goodbye.